Hi, I'm producer, songwriter and mixer Louis Piluso and this is my recording studio and today I'm going to be talking to you about the new, newish uh, Mbox Studio from Avid that Avid is the same brand that makes Pro Tools and today I'm going to be talking about this new, newish <laughs> interface that they have on the market and it's like the lowest one in their price points in the tier list so I'm going to be talking about what it offers and different specs, what I like, what I don't like. It's very good system of control with its own app in the computer. And I'm also going to show you how it integrates with Pro Tools and how to record a band with it. And of course, I'm going to give you my final opinion. This interface, the Mbox Studio, I think it was designed more as a center for your home studio, like a from which you're going to make all of your connections because it offers a lot, a lot of connections and it's quite big, so it's not so portable as one would think of a small interface. Even though it does fit into a backpack and you can take it to different places. But I think it's thought out to be like a centerpiece of your studio. Of course, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start with the unboxing and what it brings. So straight out of the box, there's a welcome card with your serial number that you use to register this product so you can download all of the included software. Sometimes they have special offers that if you buy this interface, you might get a perpetual license for Studio Ultimate. It's at a discounted price. So that's a very good option for people who want to go into Pro Tools. I remember when I bought Pro Tools for the first time, I spent like $300 and that was with a student discount. So the box comes with a welcome card, as I said before. It also comes with a bunch of cables so you have your power cable and a very good quality USB-C to USB-C cable that I think is an active one because it's very solid and it also comes with an adapter if you want to use it with USB-B. Then you have the box with the recording interface which is very nice and, and it has very nice weight so the quality feels very nice of the interface. So to give you an overview of everything this interface can do, so it has 21 inputs and 22 outputs. It goes up to 24 bits and 192 kilohertz. It has DSP, so from the Mbox control, you can actually have some effects for whoever's recording so they can feel more comfortable whilst they are doing the performance. And it also comes with a very nifty tuner that allows you to tune your guitar and you can actually look at it from the screen. <laughs> it comes with four preamps for your microphones. So it has two in the front, which is a combo jack that you have for microphones, you have for line and TS inputs for instruments, and the same in the back. You have two more that are, they are combo jacks. And the cool thing is that if you want to use an instrument input, like for a guitar or a bass, plugged straight into the interface, you can actually have a variable impedance. So you can choose between different impedances that will allow you to get different tones from your instrument which is really cool and will allow you to match your instrument to your recording interface and to have the best sound possible. Then we have input seven and eight that is shared with the effects send and return. We can choose it. We can choose to use it with effects or we can use it as an extra line input. Then we have six outputs, analog outputs. So actually one and two are destined to be monitor outputs for our main monitors. Then we have alternative monitors and we can also use our effects sends to add two extra outputs. Then we have something that's really cool. So we have two inputs for expression pedals and foot switch, which will allow us to, for instance, bring in an expression pedal and use a plugin that emulates a Wawa pedal, which is really good. I haven't seen that from other interfaces, have you? So we have then our digital connectivity. We have Spdiff in and out, then we have optical in and out, which adds an extra of eight inputs and eight outputs. And then we have MIDI in and MIDI out. Then we have two headphone outputs in the front and a high impedance output for reamp, which is really nice and really handy. So you can actually process different pedals and stuff on your way out without needing a reamp box. So in the front, we can see we have on the left, everything that is inputs. On the right, we have everything that is outputs. So we have four assignable buttons. So we can act actually, from the software, we can assign whatever we want to them, which is really nice. We have the tuner, as I mentioned before. We have a button here that automatically opens up the software, the control software, which is also very nice. And up here, we have different 
parameters we can switch for our input. We have pads, we have different impedances, we have Bluetooth, we have 48 volts and we can link channels and up here we have our monitor section we can mute we can dim we can use an internal talkback that we have our microphone here so we can speak to somebody who's recording straight to their headphones then we have bluetooth we have mono so it's a very complete recording interface so now let's check out the control software and some things that i really 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 enjoy from it so let's check out the software that it comes with, the control, the Mbox control. And I really like it because it has different layers. It has the first layer on the top. We have all our inputs. So we have from the left all of our analog inputs until we reach Bluetooth. And then we have all digital inputs. And then we have our talkback level. So we have our software inputs that would be actually outputs from our software. So for instance, if I send this to output one and two and hit play, if we come here, we can see Pro Tools main working. And then we can, we can actually assign other separate internal outputs from Pro Tools that will be software inputs for the Mbox Studio. So I hit play here and then we have three and four. Something that's really cool is that down here we have all of our analog outputs. That means that if I for instance, click on main, I can choose what I'm listening to. So for instance, on my main output, I'm only going to have Pro Tools, what comes out of Pro Tools. On my alternative speakers, I'll have exactly the same. I, I just want the main outputs from Pro Tools. If I go to headphone one, I normally want the same thing, just a copy of that. So I'm just going to lower this. I'm going to have a good listen to my Pro Tools main. But for instance, for headphone two, I want something different. So I don't want the Pro Tools main, I only want three and four. So I can leave it set up here like this and I can, for instance, choose an analog input too. So I can listen to my direct input without having any kind of latency. And then when I go back to main, my mix changes to what I had set up for that output. That is really cool. Something that I really like, for instance, is that we have our channel strips. If we go into each individual channel, we can choose an instrument input, which has different impedances, which I absolutely Love, it's really cool to have this and you can choose different tones for your channel. And then we have our preamp volume. So if we choose, and we can also choose microphone or line inputs. We have 48 volts and for our mic preamp, we also have different impedances we can choose from. I really, really like that. Then we have soft limit, high pass filter, and we can invert the polarity. Then we have our really cool preset buttons that we can assign different things. So for instance, I can assign for the first one to be face, the second one soft limit. And if I hit my first button, you can see how the face button goes on and off. And if I hit the second one, the soft limit goes on and off, which is also really, really nice. And then we have different effects for our monitoring. So we can actually monitor with reverb with delay and those kind of things which i also really like without having any kind of latency and which will enhance the performance then finally something that i really enjoy from the monitor section from the app is that we can click on this little button and it'll add this extra window that pops up in front of every single app so what's really cool about this is that we can have it floating over pro tools and we can modify the volume of our main monitor we can put it into mono, mute it, dim it, use the talkback microphone, and we can switch between our alternative speakers. So, I mean, that's really, really complete software control. So now let's go and record some music and let's hear how this baby sounds. Grace as she slams the door in his drunken face And now he stands outside And all the neighbors start to gossip and drool He cries, oh girl, you must be mad What happened to the sweet love you and me had? Against the door he leans and starts to sing And the tears won't burn her garden green And some girl 
castles made of sand fall in the sea eventually. A little Indian brave who enjoy your stand played war games in the woods with his Indian friends, and he built a dream that when he grew up he would be a famous warrior. His first battle, but something went wrong. Surprise attack killed him in his sleep at night. And some castles made of sand melt in the sea eventually. Stop living, so she decided to die. She drove a wheelchair to the edge of the shore until like she smiled, you won't hurt me no more. But then a sigh she never seen made her jump and say, Little golden wind ship is passing my way. And it really didn't have to stop. It just kept on going. And some castles made of sand. Slips into the sea Eventually